was the leader of the boys being forced to work at the mine. He was separated from the others and taken away to Ngumba Industrial Zone. The locals call this place Nzoya Badiabulu, the Devil's House. Boss, find Shivani and extract him safely. You can check the target's location on your iDroid. Welcome back to my walkthrough for Metal Gear Solid 5, my friends. This mission is called Voices, and we have quite a few objectives to complete, even though it's not a very hard mission, but you have to be very patient because you need to listen to a conversation between two soldiers, and it will take a while before that conversation can happen. So be prepared because you will spend some time doing absolutely nothing in this mission but to start things off we're going to get an intel file which lets us know the path to the industrial zone that's our first objective I'm just going to drive there and then what we're going to do is wait for the truck driver to appear so that we can mark him and then we'll move on to our next destination it's pretty simple to get this intel file because all that you need to do is go around the camp and you can avoid all of the soldiers, get the intel and get out. Come on dogs, get out of the way, I don't want to accidentally run over one of you. I would feel very bad if I did that. And whoops, sorry about that. Totally forgot that there was a, a barrier there. But let's go around the camp, like I said. And we can park right here. Get the jeep out of sight and we'll get the intel file which is located inside this tent right here. Let me show you the location on the map. And that's the first objective of this mission. Okay, now that that's done, as you can see, the soldiers didn't see anything, I'm just scanning them to see if any of them are worth anything, but at this point they really aren't. I mean, there's a few A plus soldiers here, but I have so many that at this point I, I don't care. And I'm not going to bother extracting them or getting them. Especially because we don't really need to do anything on this camp anymore. So now we're just going to wait here for the truck, which should be appearing soon. I'm going to pet my dog while I wait. And I thought I saw lights in the distance. Yep, here he comes. So let's just mark the truck and the driver and then we'll move on to our next location. There's the truck, let's try and mark the driver next. You don't really need to do this because he will drive to the next area at some point. But that way we can keep an eye out for him and know where he's at. So now we're going to head towards the mist zone. That reminds me of a Sonic level, but <laughs> we're going to head towards the, the misty forest. I know it's not the name, but it works. So let's head there. There's two soldiers guarding the entrance to the to the jungle, but we don't really need to deal with them. In fact, we need to we need to wait for the truck driver to arrive so that he can talk with one of the soldiers, and then he'll move on and we can move on as well. So we're just taking this path 
and the soldiers are right up ahead so I'm going to park here seems like a good enough spot and let's scan them Analysis complete. Uh, Analysis that guy isn't half complete. bad but like I said we're already going to waste so much time with this mission and we need to let that guy in the battlefield so that he can talk with the truck driver so yeah we're just going to wait here now guys it is going to take a while for the truck driver to arrive here so I'm going to cut out the waiting time because it's just literally you don't really do anything aside from waiting so you'll notice a small cut here okay guys and the truck driver finally arrived it took him a good five minutes and unfortunately in your game it will probably take just as long it's really frustrating how you have to wait for the guy to appear and the clock of the game doesn't stop so this will affect your time but if you get perfect stealth no kills and all that jazz you st still should manage to get an s rank without any issues as long as you complete the optional objectives move it Haka had nieuwe instructies to you. For the gibach for him to. Huh? Zij scoffers voorbij en ons het tekort aan mannenkracht. Verstaan. Mannenkracht? Die wachtpost voor die tunnel. Wanneer je bij die rivier over wachtpost komt, sla een koers die bout in. Brek. Hou je oor oor. Die dachte mis verdamp, vriend nooit. Dans daar die stories oor, uh... Hulle. Hulle? Boese geeste. Duivels wat vleister en vloek en wie weet wat als. Je laaste ou, hij is bij die tunnel in, in... Kijk, wie is het verzichtig? Ga nou. Ja, meneer. Okay, so that's the first conversation, but that's not the actual conversation that we need to listen to. Even though I think that we need to listen to this conversation so that before the second conversation happens anyway. Otherwise the objective won't count. We're going to run up ahead because we don't need to wait for the soldier. And we're going to complete another optional objective, which is to extract one of the wild dogs in between the industrial zone and the camp. And there's two of them here. You only need to extract one, but I'm going to extract both of them because I feel bad separating the dogs. I know it might be silly, but I just feel better doing it that way. So let's put this little fellow to sleep. Remember, these dogs do attack you, so be careful. And let's wait for that guy to turn around. I could shoot him right now and put him to sleep, but he's going to move away, so it's fine. Okay. Just a little bit more, there we go, and we can extract the dog. And let's get the other dog as well. There's also a diamond for us to pick up here, and apparently this diamond always respawns. No matter how many times you play this mission, the diamond will always be there. And there's also... Diamond materials for you to pick up in one of the tents up the hill, but those do take a while to respawn, so... They're probably not ready to be picked up yet since I already picked them up on my practice run. I'm just going to get this soldier out of the way so that I can capture the second dog and not have to worry about this guy. He sucks, but I am going to extract him simply because since we have to wait for the other soldier to arrive at the top of the camp so that he can have the zombie conversation with the other soldier, then I'm worried that this guy might wake up in the meantime, so I'm going to extract him and that way I won't have to worry. I could throw him off the waterfall and dispose of him that way, but I 
if I did that then my perfect stealth no kill score would be affected so I'm not gonna do that okay so now we're going to go up the hill there's three soldiers in this area but we can avoid them one of them will usually be asleep go this guy worth anything no so we don't need him there's a cliff blocking the way to the objective area there's the second soldier oh he's a liar don't need him either and uh, the material box will be inside this tent but it's not there for me because I simply didn't. It didn't respawn yet, so I can't really do anything. But now I'm go there's going to be another cut here, guys, because the the soldier is still going to take his time to arrive to this location. So we're going to wait once again. Okay, guys, and we are back. And it took this guy a good three minutes to to get here and start talking with the other soldier. So we're just going to let them talk. I think that you don't actually need to listen to this conversation until the end for the objective to be marked. On my practice run, when I had this objective marked for the first time, I only, as soon as the conversation started, the objective was marked. But don't quote me on that, so it might, you might as well just listen to the entire conversation. Okay, they're done and we're going to move on I could extract some of these soldiers but I'm not going to bother because I already wasted enough time waiting for this guy to appear and for the conversations to happen so we are a little bit on a time schedule here it's still perfectly possible to obtain the S rank even while listening into the conversation and burning time that way but I rather be safe than sorry so I am going to speed through this part which again there's really not a whole lot for us to do right now we just have to head inside the, the factory and witness uh, odd and gruesome cutscene I suppose that's the way I can describe it so let's head inside this reminds me of the hall when Grey Fox killed all of those soldiers in Metal Gear Solid
Shivani. The boy sent me. Fawan. 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 And you must see in it, or burn it out. No boy break here, bun. Okay guys, and we are going to make a run for it, but we have two more optional objectives for this mission. We need to take out the man on fire and we need to hit the boy, the floating boy, at least once. So we're going to avoid the flames here and we're going to lure the man on fire to this water tower. Right here, there's more, there's more than one water tower, but I'm going to use this one and I get a pretty good view from here. Let's wait for him to appear. Here he comes. Mark him. It's very important for you to mark him because we're going to order a supply drop to take out the, the floating boy. Now that he's done, the floating dude will appear and we're going to call a supply drop and we're going to make it land right in the position where the man on fire is and that supply drop will hit the boy there we go he's down and you're coming with me just because bye bye yeah it's probably not a good idea to do this but i just think it's funny to try and extract him Well, I'm sure we didn't really expect to extract him anyway. But as soon as we step into the tunnel, we'll be out of the hot zone. And as you can see right now, all of the objectives were completed. There we go. Everything is taken care of. So there we go, mission complete, all of the objectives were obtained and I'm sure we got the fox sound here. And yeah, we got the S rank, but waiting for that soldier really affected the final score, but it's still possible to obtain the S rank. So there's going to be a long cutscene now, my friends, I'm going to keep it in as long as Konami allows it. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you found my strategy useful, and I'll see you all later for the next part. Take care. Skullface. So he was in Africa after all, working behind the scenes, even that man on fire at his beck and call. But what the hell was going on at the devil's house? Earphones embedded in people's throats, tapes playing voices, and those lumps on their chests. 
I look like the ones on the bodies of the oil field. The man on fire burned everything to the ground. But we were recording audio the whole time you were there. We'll conduct a thorough analysis of it.